All right, so today is gonna be a, another unboxing. All right, not too much uh, RC related stuff. I still have to complete this X2 here. It's coming out nice. I'm, I'm very happy with it so far. I do have all my parts back. And when I get back onto uh, wrenching on this, you guys will see this, all right? I just want to complete this, but I'm waiting on, on stuff. Right now, Pit Tom at Pit Dog Hydro is moving to uh, Texas. He's relocating uh, his shop and his business and, and his home, all right? So I, I can just throw this back on and finish it up, all right? And install a ton of parts that I have there on that. But I want this hydro dipped, all right? I, I gotta, I want this hydro dipped. I got this picture in my head that I, I need to get out. You know, I wanna have it my way, that's it. I wanna get this out of the way because I have an MTXL build that I have to do, that I gotta start working on soon. And uh, and that, that should be pretty interesting. And then I, after I'm done with the MTXL build, I gotta get back to my Bajas and I, I wanna, start getting my race car uh, ready I, I, I don't know if i'll do the the dragster first or or start building a freaking baja to drag race all right um i, I have a, a ton of stuff that i still have to unbox all right i got two nitro engines here that i still have not unboxed I, plus i have a box up in the garage still that i have to unbox still oh my god i'm we're getting things we're getting everything ready here for christmas all right and I have to clear this table up as well. I was going to do a Cow RC mat here, but uh, I think I'm going to hold off. I spoke to the owner. I still have to uh, get back to him and, and talk about a few things. I don't. I may not do it. I may do it. I don't know. Um, I'm going to throw my over OC pit mat here for now. And I may get another TLR like this here and just cut it to that size and be done with it just to protect this for micro a little bit All right what i should have had done is just throwing a white top here like a plastic or um something durable like that you know i can always put a stainless steel sheet here that would be perfect what i need but um this is fine too anyway um everything's going good after the holidays i want to put a a little toolbox here and so much shit that I have to go over. I also have another gas engine here. It's an SCZ motor. Very nice. All right, we'll talk about this more another time. All right, if you want to know more about this engine, you can go on to my good friend Dan's uh, channel. His The name of his channel is called Sick and Tired RC. All right, he's a cool guy, and you'll see this, uh, an engine very similar to this, but he uses it on a Baja, and right now this one's set up to go on a 5T, all right? So yeah, we may fire this sucker up. They're good little screaming engines, all right? And we got some carburetor for it over there. So we got, we got plenty, plenty of stuff to do and have fun with. I still have to, I have not removed my 7PX remote. Uh, Futaba off here yet out of the box all right i also have some stuff that i want to do to it and i have a box a uh, handle case uh, coming for it all right i'm still waiting for it to come in uh track the hobbies is getting a bunch of them so i'm going to get it through uh, at my uh local hobby store i also have a couple of axe projects <laughs> yeah i'm busy as hell i got a lot of stuff going on all right but for now i'm not going to I'm just gonna give this to my old man the way it is, bone stock. And I wanna work on mine first. Cause there's two things, two ways I wanna uh, personalize these hatchets. All right, these are so cool, they're really cool. I like hatchets better than knives and I love knives. So that's how much I like hatchets, so. And um, this is bone stock, not bad. Got a pretty damn good edge stock on both, but uh, it's it's it has to be cleaned up. It's it's mm, it's got to be cleaned up. It's really rough. So yeah, I can polish the shit out of this. I'm gonna get it polished up nice. I'm gonna sand it down, 
Um, my, it's some some guys have an issue with this here, but this is pl pl small enough for me. But if I wrap this, I may wrap this with some bank cord, bank line. And if I do that, then it'll make it wider. So I may trim her down a bit. I may start from here. I may trim this down a little slight, and then from here on, come down. I may take the rod right off right here. I may trim her down from here. Just have a little bow, boom, and come down. Take this all out. I may stay here because there's plenty thin enough for my hand. And I may give this a little bit, a little bit more, just a little bit more of a bend right here. Like from here, out here like this. I may take that out, that's it. Just just to keep, have a little like a bump, a stop for my hand, all right? That's not bad, even the way it is right now, stop. Plus I wanna drill out a hole here and, and put a, a lanyard here, so, you know? All right, so my dad and I need definitely needs these, we carry these, but he needs it more than I do because he's got a wood stove and fireplace at his house. And this, these, this will come in handy. It's not big to do a big job, but it's very nice for little things, all right? This is very good to carry in your quad. You know, it's, it's, it's good. The art of making axes and hatchets is dying. That's another thing that's dying. So I don't know, I may stay with this one here because I, I, I like this here. Yeah, so anyway, uh, I gave you guys already a part number of this guy here. If not, I'm gonna give it again. 7010881-1908. So let's unbox all these here, okay? All right, let's see. Okay. What we got here? I think we have something special here. I really can't wait to start working on my hatchet here. But, all right, so what we got here? Dun, dun, dun. Oh snap! What? Wow! This one looks much better. It comes in a. Whoa! This is beautiful. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Wow, oh, this is nice wood, man. Nice wood, brother. Wow. Oh, beautiful head. Oh man. Not bad. Very reasonable. For what it is this is a beautiful piece of steel here swiss made let's let's take a look closer let's see what else we got here yeah. all right this one here i'm definitely going to be sanding her down oh yeah look at this beautiful wood grain right here look at the wood grain oh yeah this one this is going to be my my new best tool to have to end carry Yo, and this is, it's got a beautiful shape here. Look at that. This is it comes over very nice. See, look at that. Very nice. Oh yeah, this one here I'm gonna have to clean up. I'm gonna clean up. And this one's gonna be my baby, my new one. Yeah, I'm gonna definitely Oh, she's not too bad. She's not too bad. Wow. This is very nice. Yeah, so I'm going to... I don't know, man. I think she's already good enough for my hands here. I may take her down a little bit more. I'm definitely going to sand her down. I'm going to throw some boiled linseed oil on it. I may do a bank. A bank cord, a bank line here, wrap. All right, and I'm definitely I'm just gonna keep her wood. I'm gonna get rid of the Husqvarna logo, take her down. Beautiful hickory handle. I'm happy with the line, the grain on it. I just I don't like this here. How oh, this was. So I, I just, I'm gonna clean her up. I may even do a polish on her. I may, I may clean it. Look at that, hand forged, made in Sweden. 
This is a very good steel, guys. Yeah, man. So I may polish this guy up. I may take it above this. And keep this finish here. Keep this. Alright, I may even take this, clean this up better here. So I can use it as a hammer to bang things a little better. I don't like how that's finished here. It's not cleaned up. But it's got it's great steel. I could work with it. I could work with it. Man, this is probably the one I should give to my dad. It's already drilled out here. I don't have to drill it out. You know, I'll just put a better line here. Yeah, so Carpenter's Axe, made in Sweden. It's got the Husqvarna name on it, but obviously they didn't make this. Yeah, man, so I'm very happy with this. And I can't wait to stop carrying her around with me when I'm up in the mountains upstate. I'm gonna clean her up. I'm gonna have some fun with it one of these days and spend a day on this. And um, you can turn a, a decent price, beautiful ax like this into like a Holtz Brook. All right, that's pretty much who makes this. A Holtz Brook ax is, is like 170 bucks, $178. Something like this here, you can get for under 50 bucks. It's the same steel, it's just finished differently. You can you can make it your way, you know? You can do your bank line, you could do whatever. You can use your boiled linseed oil here after you sand it down, you could stain it, you could do whatever, make it your own. Put whatever, I'm gonna sharpen this guy up here like a, like a knife. And I'm gonna polish it up. I'm not the whole head. I like this, it has like a patina already. This is good steel, so it, it will rust on you, so I got to protect it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring her up. I'm going to sand it down many times I'm gonna, up to here. I'm going to polish this up. It's going to be shiny, just here. I don't, not the whole head. And um, I want to get rid of all these lines. I'm going to have it nice and smooth. So by having it polished, sand it down, it actually will help not rust. All right, and it'll cut like really good. Yeah, so right now, yeah, this this won't even cut here right now. Oh. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, got, it's got a lot of potential, so. It comes with, again, it comes with a beautiful sheath. All right, you can make your own or get better sheaths, but not bad. That, that it comes with it, not bad. It's a nice button. All right. I just don't like the rivets here. All right, on this sheath, but uh, you know, so I like I like it if it was stitched better, especially after I put a nice edge on it. You know, so when you're carrying it around, because. You get your edge over there touching those rivets. It's going to dull the, the, the edge you put on it. That you spent all that time sharpening and straightening out. Alright, so it already comes with a hole. So you can hang, always hang your hatchets or axes. Alright, like this so that you don't get a bow or a warpness on it. And that's it. So, what else? What else we got? Let's use the carpenter axe here. Yeah. Yeah, so don't let this little almost hatchet size. But it's got a nice head on it. It's got a nice piece of hickory on it. This sucker right here will chop a tree down, man. Don't let the don't let this thing fool you. It's perfect. You know you can definitely carry this with you. Do a lot with this. It'll cut a freaking tree down. So you know you're not gonna cut a tree down with this. You probably you can cut down a small a small freaking tree or whatever. But this is but this here right here will probably do the job for a lot of stuff. 
What else we got here? All right, so we got a, finally I got me a, a nice Lansky puck. All right, tool sharpener here, multi-purpose. All right, should have two, yep. It's got two uh, grades, uh, grit. It's got a coarse side and a medium grit. All right, cool. Just like something sharpen your, uh, your, your, uh, your blade to it. Got another, I got plenty of files, but it came with it. I couldn't say no. Maybe I can have this to carry it around. All right, so you can put an edge also with this so that you can clean it up with the Lansky puck. You know, it'll take a while, but you don't want to use a grinder on your heads because then you can weaken the steel. Understand? So, all right, so what else? Let's use this guy. It's nice. So what we got here is an oversized DBXL fuel tank. Yes, and it's from FID. All right, I, I think this might be the same one that comes with the two-speed training. And I'm happy, I don't want a two-speed training on my MTXL. See, I, I want to run this on my MTXL. No. And most likely I won't use these fuel lines, but these aren't bad. Uh, they seem better than the ones that come with the, these aren't bad. This is a little dry, I may put a little silicone oil here, swell that up again. These fuel lines are not bad, but I'm gonna put high flow lines. Uh, they didn't even give me a fuel cap, that's all right. I got a better cap than the one they were gonna give me anyway, so. Anyway, I got my oversized fuel tank, finally. All right? And I'm gonna need this for my next engine that we're gonna do on my MTXL. All right, so let me, let's go see how this looks compared to the stock one. So when I take you out to my garage, I'm gonna show you the axe I have in my truck that I've been using. This is the axe that I've been using. I have not worked on it yet, but I keep this guy with me. I've actually used it on some wood splitting at my dad's house the other day, and it came in handy. All right, this is bone stock. I have not put an edge on this either, and, and I'm not going to because I think I, I'm, this is a makes a better splitter. But I will be uh, playing with this handle for sure. All right, this is much heavier and um, bigger than my forestry axe. All right, part number. This is one my buddy Chris hooked me up with. Um, I think the part number's gone, here it is. This guy here is splitting a hatchet. There's the part number, 0000882-1005. All right, I'm gonna take this guy down a little, but as well. All right, I've been, this guy's been over here in my truck, just like that. Comes in handy, let me tell you. Not as much over here in Long Island, New York, but in upstate New York, for sure. All right, up here in the garage. All right, so here's the stock tank. And here's the FID one. It's a lot taller. Look at that. So hopefully by being taller, I can put my full force, my full force high flow fuel, uh, fuel um, line kit here. Yeah, so cool. That's the first thing I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get rid of this, put the high flow fuel kit on here. All right, cause that's gonna be a must with the new engine. Yeah, 
that's it, man. Look at that. Get rid of this. Put my big fuel filter on here. Get some good fuel flow because my next engine, the, the carburetor that I'm going to have on it, it's going to be a true modified 990 carburetor. All right? Well, not a, a regular modified 990 car. That's, that's a fully modified one with the different metering spring and... Yes, it's got the bearings and it's got the board out body. All right, board and polished. So, yeah, so plus I'm gonna need the extra fuel because the next engine we have here, it's gonna go through a lot of fuel. It's gonna go through fuel much quicker than this beautiful motor here. There's nothing wrong with this reed case. I really love it. It works awesome, but uh, we have to try something else here different so that's it all right the other day i went to the store i picked up some marvel mission oil i used to have gallons of this stuff this is also a very good after run oil for your nitro engines all right but you just can't go wrong with three in one it's simple and everybody has it and it's clean all right, i bought another three in one i bought a big bottle all right i've been getting these lately but uh i bought this guy here all right that's it so I may, I may fill up a little bottle with some Marvel Mistral. All right, what else? That's it. I'm working on getting everything Lifey batteries. All right. Um, I'm going to try to get rid of this. This battery took crap on me. Uh, that's for the MTXL. And this one here, Ray is working on a Life battery as well. This size for my 4.0 Truggy. And what else? And that's it, and a lot of stuff going on. All right, so I got some boiled linseed oil for my uh, axes, my hatchet handles. All right, so we'll see, we'll see. We got a lot of stuff going on. I don't even know where to start. 